Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about the fire control of the Yamato class battleships. Now, the Yamato class has a reputation of having really poor fire control, but was it really that poor? Well, a post war survey conducted in 1946 by the US Army shows the Type 22 radar, which the, which the Yamato carried two of, had a maximum detection range of 60 kilometers. 60 kilometers, that's further than Iowa or. South Dakota, isn't it? Well, that same survey said that the maximum range at which the range of a large surface ship could be obtained was around 25 kilometers. That, however, is nothing to laugh at. Even if the range couldn't accurately be obtained past 25 kilometers, Yamato was not blind. She had four 15 meter wide rangefinders carrying the best octets in the world. In addition, she carried seven seaplanes. Those seaplanes were a mixture of reconnaissance and, and observation seaplanes used for shell spotting. Conceivably, if Yamato was to detect the ship at, say, 50 kilometers, she could point all the eyes and the planes on board the ship in that direction to, to see if she could see the enemy ship. And judging from where the 50 meter range trainers were positioned, she could conceivably spot and find the range of a battleship sized target, such as, say, the Iowa at a range at which the US Raiders would just be picking up the position of Yamato. And as you know, Yamato carried two of these Type 22 radars and two Type 13 air surge radars at the top of her superstructure. These Type 13 radars were capable of picking up large groups of aircraft at 100 kilometers. That's about 60 miles. And now you're probably wondering how do I explain the poor gunnery at the Battle of Samar in 1944. Well, there are a few reasons for that. One was the lack of crew training. Uh, she had barely been out to sea before that battle, and the crew was poorly trained in the use of the fire control systems. Two was crew fatigue. She had just survived the sinking of her sister ship, Musashi, and had, sur and had survived multiple air raids by US torpedo bombers and dive bombers. Number three was their targets. They were destroyer escorts and escort carriers, which were moving pretty fast and were zigzagging to avoid the shells and in addition they were obscured by squalls. Now keep in mind that during Operation Hailstorm, which was an attack by the US on Japanese bases in Truck Lagoon, the battleships Iowa and New Jersey combined failed to hit the fleeing destroyer Noaki at around 30 kilometers. If you wish to see the survey for yourself, download it right here. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to share it with someone, share it. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe, and of course, Thanks for watching. Oh, and of course, if you want to agree, disagree, or leave your opinion of my video, leave a comment right there. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.